Back to some more competitive speculation slash analysis. We got some new Pokemon to talk about, that being Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. So starting with typing, Walking Wake is a water dragon type. Now offensively, it only has four typings that it's super effective against. It's the three that water has plus dragon. But this combined typing can hit just about anything neutrally effective outside of a fairy type that resists water moves, which would only be fairy grass and fairy water types, which as you can see does not make up a lot of Pokemon. So for the most part, this typing is very consistent offensively, even if it doesn't have that great of super effective capacity. Now defensively, it is only weak to dragon and fairy, which are two typings that are typically not run on the same Pokemon, making it pretty easy to cover those typings. Now it does also resist steel and even further resist fire and water, which is a very nice defensive typing, very easy to work with. And if you want to make this a lot harder to hit super effective, you can run steel Terra type on this to resist both dragon and fairy. Although if I had to guess, I would say Fire Terra type is going to be pretty common on this. Maybe Grass and Select Scenarios, but in my opinion, I think Steel and Fire are going to be the best Terra types for this Pokemon. We'll get more into that later. Continuing with Walking Wake, it does have Protosynthesis, the same ability as the past Paradox forms. Now, both of these Pokemon have 590 base stats, so they're in the same stat tier as Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. And if we look at the stat distribution, it's actually pretty good. The special attack stat is a very reasonable 125. You also have a very nice 109 speed stat, which will let it outspeed things such as Palmot and Garchomp, even Charizard and Chiyu, Salamence, things like that. It can outspeed all of that. Though it is still slower than Screamtail. That's funny. Defensively, it's fine. It's slightly better on the physical defense side, and it does have enough attack stat that you could make use of it. Although, considering how much higher the special attack is, you would primarily run this as a special attacker. Though I could definitely see a fast offensive spread for the EVs on this. Now this does have a signature move called Hydro Steam and this is actually a very interesting move because it's a 80 power special water type move that is boosted in harsh sunlight by 50%. That is fascinating because a water type move that is boosted in sun is kind of crazy. But this will also be boosted in rain because it's a water type move. So if you've ever wanted to run a dual weather team that uses harsh sunlight and rain, Walking Wake synergizes incredibly well with that kind of team and might even make that style of team more viable. Now this does get access to a priority move in the form of Aqua Jet, which is why that physical attack stat being as high as it is really isn't that bad because this could get some nice finishes off with Aqua Jet. This is also one of the few Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet that get Breaking Swipe, which it does get Stab on. So again, the physical attack stat not being so bad here. Flamethrower is interesting because it would make a lot of sense in a dull weather team to run both Hydro Steam and Flamethrower, and even Fire Terra type, that way you just have a lot of coverage to work with, with a lot of very interesting offense as well. Now for your Dragon move, you could run Dragon Pulse, but I suspect Draco Meteor is going to be a lot more common, that way you just get that really fast, hard hit off to go for a potential quick knockout. I know Tatsugiri almost always runs Draco Meteor for that same reason. Another interesting move offensively that this gets is Hurricane. I could imagine a world where a flying Terra type one of these could actually be quite a threat. Now for supporting moves, we do have some mediocre ones like Noble Roar, and this Pokemon does not actually have a lot of buffing moves. Dragon Dance and Hone Claws are pretty much it, both of which affect the physical attack stat. But this does get access to Breaking Swipe as we saw earlier, and it also gets Snarl. So I could even see a support mode for this where it can lower both attack and special attack, depending on what stat needs to be lowered. And it does also get Scary Face. Probably not a move that will be commonly run on this, though. Just based on its moveset, typing and everything, I feel like this is going to be a very common Pokemon once it actually shows up in the format. Its typing combined with its weather synergy is very hard to pass up, and it has enough stats in general to make use of all that. So I imagine Walking Wake is 
going to primarily be used offensively with the occasional support mode. Most likely Steel or Fire Terra, though I could also see Water Terra as well. And if I were to place the Ranked Ladder utilization, I could definitely see this being in the top 10 most used Pokemon whenever it's finally legal. Because you could use this to just counter Weather, because it doesn't take damage from Fire and it doesn't take damage from Water. And it synergizes with both of those Weathers. So very strong Pokemon actually, and definitely a contender for the top 10, at least before Box Legendaries become legal. Next we have Iron Leaves, and this is a Grass Psychic type. Now offensively it's okay, like you do get 5 super effectives, though you're not able to really hit Steel that well, but there's a lot more things that resist both Psychic and Grass, as you can see. Based on this, about 10% of Pokemon actually resist this. Though, with about a third of the Pokemon in the game being weak to this, that is actually not that bad. So offensively this typing is somewhere in a middle ground where it's kind of good and depending on what's common in the meta this could actually be a nice typing to have. Now defensively things are kind of interesting because we do have a fair bit of things that are super effective on this typing, most notably the 4x from Bug, but I wouldn't take that into consideration too much because Walking Wake is actually weak to Freeze Dry and I suspect Freeze Dry would actually be a lot more common to run into than literally any bug move outside of Struggle Bug, which I think Iron Leaves can survive a Struggle Bug. So I really would not take this 4x into consideration at all. Bug weakness doesn't really matter in competitive play because nobody runs, nobody runs bug as coverage. But there are some other typings this is weak to, like flying and fire and ice, even dark. Typings that are actually relatively common aside from poison. Though it does resist six typings, which is not really that bad. So it's going to be harder to position this, and it's definitely a lot harder to get a terror type that counters all of these weaknesses. Though I could imagine the common defensive typings such as water or fire being used on this, but I think the actual terror type that's going to be common is going to be largely dependent on what you're trying to resist. Now, Iron Leaves has Quark Drive, same as all of the future Paradox forms, so I'm not going to talk about that. When we go to the stats, it is slower than Walking Wake by just a little bit. However, the stat distribution is actually better on this. This is a physical attacker as you can see, but it is 130 instead of 125, and this trades a little bit of offense on the other stat for higher special defense. So this actually has a pretty good special bulk that with an assault vest, this thing might actually be kind of hard to take down and may be able to survive some super effective hits because of that. And the speed stat 104 is pretty good, though while you're not outspeeding things like Iron Treads and Pomot, you do still outspeed Garchomp which is a useful thing to outspeed. Now the signature move on this one is Psyblade, which is very similar to Walking Wake's signature move, except this is physical, psychic type, and it's boosted in electric terrain. Now this move synergizes with two terrains because it gets boosted in electric terrain, but this also gets boosted in psychic terrain because it is a psychic type move. Again, a very interesting concept here. And while I don't I think this is quite as strong as Synergy in two weathers. This is still a pretty good move, and I think you would almost always run this move. Now, the moveset on this Pokemon is actually a lot more interesting. On the offensive side, with Grass, we do have a Leaf Blade. That is a very strong move. It also gets Solar Blade, which, depending on how you're running this and the kind of teams you're trying to fight with this, Solar Blade could actually be a really neat option to get some very strong offense into your opponent. Though I think most of the time Leaf Blade is technically more consistent, which Leaf Blade is just a great move in general. This also gets Sacred Sword though, which again is also a really good move to have access to, and I could see Sacred Sword being run even over something like Close Combat just because stat changes don't matter. So this could be very helpful against say Don Dozo, unless you want a chance at crit on Leaf Blade. So if you're running this primarily offensively, these are the three moves that you would most likely run on this with either Protect or maybe just Sword Stance, honestly. Now this does get some interesting supportive moves like Quick Guard and Helping Hand. It does have a priority move in the form of Quick Attack, though Quick Attack is not as good as Aqua Jet. It does have Imprison, which is kind of interesting. I imagine you could do some fun stuff with that. Ally Switch 
switch. Now that is strange, because not a lot of Pokemon get ally switch in this game, and this thing has pretty good stats. So perhaps a support mode would actually be quite good on this. It does also get stab trailblaze to boost its speed stat. Interesting idea. Brick break for screens, taunt, and even iron defense and calm mind gets access to terrains, and even quash. So the moveset on this is actually quite interesting, and offensively, you have some coverage like wild charge. There's obviously a lot of fighting moves. There's also a couple bug moves, probably wouldn't run those. And there's even smart strike, as well as air slash. That is an interesting move, though you probably wouldn't run air slash on this. I think iron leaves technically has more options it can go for, at least offensively compared to walking wake. However, the typing is a lot harder to work with and it, the signature move while it does have some really cool synergy with terrain weather is generally considered better than terrain and just having a water type move that is boosted in sun is a huge deal which that alone probably makes walking wake better than iron leaves but i still think this has utility because this typing hard counters Great Tusk, which Great Tusk typically does not run coverage at all. So this would be just a brick wall to Great Tusk, and it could just blow it up with super effective stab. So this one's a lot harder to predict. I am not certain how this one is going to play out. I was much more confident about Walking Wake just because there's very obvious things it can do. I'm not so sure about Iron Leaves. Perhaps you could run it with Ndidi and go for fast psychic type offense, but Electric Terrain's not very popular, so it's not really going to get the buff from that unless you're running Booster Energy. So I could imagine Booster Energy, Iron Leaves with Ndidi, just as a very obnoxious, highly offensive lead. Which, if you did that, the Iron Leaves would most likely need to be Water Terra type, so it does not take damage from a Spread Fire type move, and indeed you could just follow me away the single targets. So overall, I think it's good. You'll definitely see it around occasionally, but I do not think it's usage rate is going to be any higher than 10%. Most likely it'll be somewhere around 7 to 5% because generally what's popular are things that are easy to put in teams that don't take a lot of effort to set up and don't take a lot of effort to protect. And I think Iron Leaves is a little bit difficult to get set up properly, so I don't suspect it's going to be super common. But in the right team, you could definitely make it work, and it does have the capacity to be a good sweeper. And maybe even a good support, honestly, because it does have some very interesting options. I imagine a Salt Fest build or a Booster Energy build with Ndidi next to it is going to be the most common mode for this Pokemon. But hey, if there's any other Pokemon you want me to do competitive speculation slash analysis about, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see y'all next time.